Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this Majorette Volkswagen T2 bus. And uh, it's a build off with Danny from Danny Diecast Disasters. He suggested to do an Iron Maiden theme and I really like Iron Maiden so obviously agree straight away. I've got to say that Danny's channel is one of my favorites. He's very good with the weathering and uh, dioramas and uh, I'll put a link to his channel on the description below. And uh, because I'm doing this build off with him, I'm going to use some of his techniques and tricks and see if I've learned anything. And uh, because this is an Iron Maiden theme, I'm actually going to make an Iron Maiden. A bit like this one. And uh, this is the second video that I'm uploading and editing today. So I'll better crack on and uh, I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna smooth the roof and uh, that'll give me a black canvas. I'm also saving the metal filings. Magic dust. But uh, let's get real. I'm gonna cut the van and I'm gonna make the hinges. Thanks a lot, Tina for your uh, Julu saw. This is the first time that I'm using it and I'm absolutely I'm loving it. For the hinges, I'm going to use some tubing and some uh, sewing pins.
I'm gonna use a bit of masking tape just to hold the things into place And again, I'm gonna use some of these metal filings. They'll make the bones stronger and they will look like a really bad old welding. I've let it dry for a bit, so let's have a look to see if it's working or not. And this working. And it actually works really well. I need to make a couple more of modifications, you know, like putting something there to stop it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna put an extra inch on the back and that'll give you more stability. And I'm using the same tubing and I'm putting the sewing pin inside already. And when I bend it, it won't collapse on itself and it'll still be round, if that makes sense. And of course I need to chop uh, some of the back of the van so I can fit some metal spikes. Now I'm just doing exactly the same for the other side. I'm using a bit of styrene just so everything's flat. I don't need the back of the window anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that and also the beacon.
I'm gonna use some super glue and metal filings to fill the hole from the beacon. Now we start it with the phone. I'm gonna use different shades of brown and I'm gonna make it look rusty. I'm trying to make it patchy on purpose so that will show through the top coat. I'm gonna use some salt uh, to make the chipping effect. I'm gonna paint it gold and black, a bit like the Power Slave album, uh, you know, the color scheme, you know, golds and blacks and blues, like uh, a bit of Egyptian, which uh, I think will go really nice with my Iron Maiden. Now I'm just blowing the salt away with the airbrush, very satisfying. For the back windows, I'm just using some clear plastic.
I'm wiping some of the paint off uh, from the windows so it looks like uh, the glass is mucky. And uh, I was going to make some decals, but my friend's printer is broken. So I went down to the pub for some inspiration and came back with this. It used to be a mat, but I'm going to use it instead decals. And the lettering is from one of the clothing magazines, but uh, it's a bit new, so I'm just gonna wet it and make a few rips and wrinkles before I glue it onto the roof. And uh, I'm just going to use some white glue and while I'm doing it, I'll put more wrinkles and ribs. I was gonna use some nails, but they're actually a bit sharp, so I'm gonna use toothpicks instead. Ouch, that is got to hurt. So, time to put it together then. The Iron Maiden As a last minute idea, I'm gonna use a rhinestone on the left headlight like it was uh, Eddie's eye. And then I'll be painting it with a bit of uh, transparent red. So there you go, I've had a lot of fun with this one. Thanks a lot, Tina, for the jeweler's saw. And uh, Danny, I can't wait to see you as me. Please check him out, I'll leave the link on the description of the video. And as for the rest of you, thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Listen to a bit of Iron Maiden, and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.